As regular viewers and subscribers to the channel will know, we have recently done videos on the best paid players at every Premier League, Championship and League One club. We then proceeded to break the hearts of League Two lovers, ourselves included, when the League One video floundered and lots of people said they'd rather see videos about La Liga, the Bundesliga and the rest of Europe's elite. We have since done a video on the best paid player at every La Liga club, but in that time, the League One video took off a bit and now has more views than the Championship video. I'm delighted about that, and not just because it's my job and I need the money, but also because it gives us an excuse to finish off our Football League adventure and finally include League 2 in this series. There are other leagues I'd like to look at, including the Scottish Premiership, and we will do other European leagues if the La Liga video proves to be a hit. But make sure to leave your own ideas below in the comments, and give any other ideas that you're a fan of a like, so that we know what you want to see. Here is the best paid player at every League 2 club. Barry, Jermaine Beckford. Before we start, I should point out that there are rather a lot of ties in League 2, almost half of the teams have one or more players tied on the same reported weekly wage in fact, but our first entrance, Barry, aren't one of them. The Greater Manchester Club was relegated from League 1 in last place last season, but whilst they do have two players reportedly on £4,000 a week, they're only covering the full wage demands of one of them. That one is former Leeds United and Everton striker Jermaine Beckford. Beckford joined the club in May 2017, but he has been out for more than a year following knee surgery. The man he would have been tied with is former Man City trainee Harry Bunn, but he is currently on loan at Southend, who are said to be sharing the burden of his wages. Cambridge United David Ford Cambridge United have a pretty modest wage budget, and a reported salary of £1,600 a week is rumoured to be enough to make David Ford the U's highest earner. Capped 24 times by the Republic of Ireland, the 39-year-old shot stopper is best known for his nine-year spell with Millwall, where he made more than 300 appearances. Carlisle United. Seven players. Well, we warned you that there could be some ties in this list, and nowhere is that more emphatically the case than in Cumbria with Carlisle United. Seven players, namely Jamie Devitt, Hallam Hope, Adam Collin, Tom Parks, Kelvin Atuhu, Anthony Gerrard and Gary Little are all reportedly tied at £1,500 a week. Cheltenham Town Kevin Dawson and Johnny Mullins Cheltenham Town do have a former Premier League player on their books in the form of 35-year-old Luke Varney, but he apparently ranks third behind the club's two joint highest earners, Kevin Dawson and Johnny Mullins, on £1,500 a week each. Dawson is a former Irish youth international who turned out for Yeovil in the Championship whilst Mullins is an experienced centre-back who has spent the vast majority of his career at League 2 level. Colchester United Luke Norris and Harry Pell League 2 playoff hopefuls Colchester are our third consecutive ties, this time between Luke Norris and Harry Pell. Pell is a hard-working central midfielder formerly of Wimbledon and Cheltenham, whilst Norris is an instinctive striker and a penalty specialist. Interestingly, Luke Norris was originally called Luke Hacker, but he changed his name in February of 2012 to move away from Hacker because he didn't like the connotations that he hacked players with his tackling, and towards Norris because he is a huge fan of the American master of the martial arts, Chuck Norris. Okay, we completely made that up. I mean, he did change his name, but we've no idea why. It was oddly believable though, wasn't it? Crawley Town Philippe Marais Crawley Town spent a bit of money to win consecutive promotions from the conference up into League 1 between 2011 and 2012, but they were relegated back into League 2 in 2014, and their wage budget is pretty much in line with the rest of the league now. Crawley's best paid player on a reported £2,500 a week is Philippe Moraes, a former Portuguese under-21 international who came through the youth ranks at Chelsea and plays as a technical and skillful right winger. Crew Alexandra Chris Porter. The third highest scorer in the Scottish Premier League more than a decade ago, Chris Porter has previously turned out for the likes of Motherwell, Derby County and Sheffield United. He is now said to be Crew Alexandra's highest earner, age 35, on a reported £2,000 a week. A big target man type of centre forward, Porter has scored 20 goals in 63 games for Crew since signing from Colchester in 2017. Exeter City. Lee Martin. Until very recently, this would have been a tie between Lee Martin and Jaden Stockley, 
but following Stockley's move to Preston North End in the Championship in January, Martin takes it on his own. Age 31, Martin came through the youth ranks at Manchester United, and he has played plenty of Championship football with both Ipswich Town and Millwall. The one-time Wimbledon starlet, who made three appearances at Old Trafford, reportedly picks up £2,000 a week at St James's Park. Forest Green Rovers George Williams, Liam Shepherd, and Christian Deutsch It doesn't always work this way, but with Forest Green Rovers, you can probably say the club's three best-paid players are also their three most talented players. George Williams looked like a really bright talent when he broke into the Welsh national team at 18, but he suffered a horrible knee ligament tear in 2015. Liam Shepherd is a good young right back who also has represented Wales, albeit at under 21 level. And making it three from three, Christian Deutsch is also a Welshman, although he's never represented the country, and he recently returned to Rovers following a controversial loan spell at Bolton. Grimsby Town, John Welsh. Up until last month, Preston North End loanee Ben Pringle was said to be Grimsby Town's best paid player, but his loan deal was cut short and the midfielder joined Tranmere instead in January. In his place is a former teammate of Pringle's since John Welsh made 176 appearances at Deepdale before dropping down into League 2 with the Mariners. A player who my dad was oddly always a huge fan of, Welsh made his Liverpool debut at 18 and played 8 games for England's under 21s. He too has suffered some nasty injuries though, most notably a leg break in 2007 while contracted to Hull City, and he has played mostly League 1 football since then. Lincoln City John Akinde Following a six-year absence from the Football League, Lincoln City returned to the fourth tier in 2017 under the stewardship of Danny Cavley. The Imps are currently in pole position in League 2 for promotion to League 1, and they do have a competitive wage budget at this level. Top scorer John Akinde is said to be the club's highest earner on a reported £3,200 a week. Macclesfield Town Peter Vincenzi Macclesfield Town won the National League title last season, meaning this season would be their first in the Football League since the 2011-12 campaign. Their wages are still reflective of a non-league club though, and Jersey international Peter Vincenti is apparently the club's highest earner, rumoured to be picking up £1,000 a week. Following a baptism of fire upon their return to the Football League, Macclesfield have turned a corner under Sol Campbell, and now look to have a chance of staying in the division. Mansfield Town Tyler Walker the first loan need to take top spot outright in this list I think I'm right in saying, Nottingham Forest striker Tyler Walker is currently midway through a season-long loan at Field Mill. Mansfield's wage budget is a competitive one, and as with Lincoln, it is paying dividends. The Stags are in with a great shout of promotion this season, and Tyler Walker has been a big part of that. The sharp-shooting 22-year-old is the joint second highest scorer in the division, and Mansfield are rumoured to be paying £4,500 of his £6,000 weekly wage demands. MK Dons, Kieran Agard. MK Dons were playing in the Championship as recently as 2016, and that may have something to do with them having one of the largest wage budgets in League 2. Pacey forward Kieran Agard joined the club following their relegation from the second tier from Bristol City, signing a deal said to be worth £5,000 a week, and he has since scored 36 goals in 124 games. It seems unlikely that MK Dons will make the automatics this season, they're in with a good chance of making the playoffs. Morecambe AJ Leach-Smith, Andrew Toot and Stephen Old The correlation between wage budgets and league positions is more defined in League 2 than in League 1 or the Championship, and frugal Morecambe face a serious threat of relegation this season. The Shrimps' three best paid players are all reportedly earning £1,000 a week. Old is the oldest of the three and also the most interesting having previously played in New Zealand, Scotland, China and Sweden, as well as having won 17 caps for his native New Zealand between 2004 and 2009. Newport County Andrew Crofts Experienced former Welsh international Andrew Crofts has previously spent six seasons in the Championship as well as one in the Premier League with Norwich City. Now aged 34, the uncompromising midfield enforcer joined Newport from Scunthorpe over the summer, where he reportedly became their highest earner on £2,000 a week. Northampton Town Four players Until January, Northampton Town's best paid player, and by some distance too, was Dutch forward Kevin Van Veen. The former PSV trainee joined Northampton from Scunthorpe in January 2018, 
but exactly 12 months on, the iron brought Van Veen back to Glanford Park. In his absence, centre-back Jordan Turnbull, forward Andy Williams, winger Daniel Powell and right-back Shea Facey are all reportedly tied on £2,500 a week. Notts County David Ball Notts County are the most glaring example of a team in League 2 whose spending on wages doesn't align with their league position, and there are no prizes for guessing who is apparently the club's top earner. From being a part of a Welsh squad, which reached the semi-finals of Euro 2016, to most likely suffering relegation to the National League less than three years later, it's been quite the come down for David Vaughan in the swan song of his career. The former Nottingham Forest, Sunderland and Real Sociedad midfielder reportedly earns £5,000 a week on his current one-year deal. Oldham Athletic Mohamed Maouche Born in France but of Algerian descent, Mohamed Maouche joined Oldham Athletic in 2017, having previously played in Ligue 2, the second tier of French football. Maouche's brother Yassin is also a professional footballer, contracted to FC Zurich in the Swiss Super League. Mohamed, meanwhile, is a well-rounded central midfielder said to be earning £3,500 a week at Oldham. Port Vale Tom Pope Port Vale's highest earner and the club's third highest goalscorer of all time, Tom Pope has found the back of the net 99 times in 271 games for the club. The big veteran centre-forward plays with his back to goal and he apparently earns £2,000 a week. Pope is currently in his second spell with the Vale, sandwiched either side of a couple of seasons at Bury. Stevenage Scott Cuthbert Playoff chasing Stevenage have a pretty modest wage budget, and £2,000 a week is apparently enough to make Scott Cuthbert the club's top earner. A big, strong and experienced centre-back, Cuthbert has previously played for Swindon, Leighton Orient and Luton, as well as making one appearance for Scotland's B team back in 2009. Swindon Town Tumani Diagaraga Back in 2016, Tumani Diagaraga was hot property. Having impressed in the championship with Brentford, he was snapped up by Leeds United for £575,000. The powerful central midfielder has been tumbling down the divisions ever since though, currently turning out for Swindon Town in a season of mid-table League 2 mediocrity for the Robins. Tranmere Rovers Four players it's been a decent first season back in the Football League for Tramia Rovers, who could have had a slim shot at the playoffs were it not for some patchy recent form. The 2000 League Cup finalists have four players reportedly tied on £1,500 a week, namely Luke McCullough, who is on loan from Doncaster Rovers, towering Cameroonian centre-back Manny Monte, leggy midfielder Ollie Banks, and former Accrington defender Adam Buxton. One suspects James Norwood, who is the top scorer in League 2, will become Tramia's highest earner should he put pen to paper on a new deal anytime soon. Yeovil Town Francois Zoko, Gary Warren and Carl Dickinson The final entrance in this list is another tie between four different players at Yeovil Town. Following a fairy tale rise to the second tier a few years ago, Yeovil are now in real danger of dropping out of the Football League altogether. Their four best paid players are Francois Zoko, Gary Warren and Carl Dickinson, all reportedly tied on £1,500 a week. So that's it for today's Not Actually A 7. As always, let us know any new video ideas you'd like to see from us in the comments. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video and feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications for HITC7s for more from us.